Welcome one, welcome all one more time here on your wonderful and favorite show, Sankofa. Your host is Maponga J, live from Johannesburg, South Africa, here on Galaxy Universal Network. The human body has always been of interest to, to me and to everybody else in terms of our study, our learning and our development. Three or four main elements make up the, 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 the human body, as we have always been talking here on our on our on our on our shore, uh, maybe the first element we need the first element we need to talk about is the element of water that makes up the human body, and uh, we are all seventy percent water the last time I checked, so you have water in your system and above your water then you have your your, your flesh, which is your blood which is your your, your, your bones and your mm, here the physical side of the body itself, and after the physical side you have now the emotional side which is the heart space, the emotions that are, are actually acting on the body that are being driven by the water that is in your system. But above that, then you also have the spirit, which is the spiritual side where we all connect with uh, ourselves, with our genes, with our dreams, with our visions and ideas, and uh, which are downloaded from the spiritual realm into our minds, which is the mind becomes the reception area, becomes our cell phone signal area where we receive this information and from there we interpret it within our emotional space then our bodies give us a reaction ultimately the water that is in us responds so for example a young boy sleeps at night and he has a he has a dream he has a dream he's dreaming he's sleeping with a woman in his dreams and what happens in his dream will affect the rest of the system and by the time he wakes up in the morning boom he had a wet dream actually and all of us, when it comes to ideas, creating things, I, when we make these things, starts off with an idea. What is it that you are thinking about? Like when I want to make myself a hat like this, I sit around and I say, okay, what am I going to do today? What do I need? What kind of colors do I need? 
what kind of information do I need to put on this thing? Then I go from the from the inspiration side, which you might want to call the the the, the 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 whole space of innovation. Then you translate that innovation into technology, which becomes a mental idea. What do I need mentally to to put this thing together? That would drive me towards the physical elements that I must put together. Ultimately, you actually have a product that is in your hand. And similarly so, I've always said this, and I'll say it again, and three, within our stick again, we have the past, the present, and the future. But within our greater African tradition, we cannot miss it. We cannot miss it. And today I brought with me here Untate Mabaso, Sipo Mabaso, a criminal also on Facebook like myself, who has been banned many times and he keeps on changing names like I'm doing also. But when you look at the ancient traditions of our African people, to some of you it may just look like a piece of art. A piece of art. And, uh, but the more you study, the more you discover how many things are connected together. When you get into your Eastern mysticism or Eastern knowledge systems, where you begin to learn about the seven elements, the chakras that are on the human body, and uh, from the brain, the third eye sort of story, right up to the, to the bottom, which is the sexual organ, and what colors are, are actually ca calibrated within the human body. And then you come to the African people, and you actually find that we already began to put all these sciences together. Not only are these things spiritual, but they also work to give us the seven days of the week. If you are really a keen student, I would challenge you to say, read the book of Genesis and read on the seven days creation and see in what elements and what sort of energy and color levels are being demonstrated as you are reading the seven, seven days of the week. So you begin to have your seven days that are there. By the time you read the book of Revelation, you hear about the seven spirits. And then you hear about the seven thunders. Then you also hear about the seven colors that are on the chakra. And his, this, again, will work as a menu, menu diet. How do you eat your green foods? And what do green foods do to your body? How do you eat your yellow foods? And how do your yellow foods respond to your body? So goes for the red foods, so goes for the white foods, so goes for the orange foods and the purple foods. So you can actually create a chart for yourself. And when you create that chart, convert that chart into an emblem, into a piece of art, so that when you are putting on your hat, it's not just putting on a hat, you're actually putting a whole summary of spirituality, your diet, your days of the week, and your activities. And this, for me, becomes very exciting, because once you begin to study in that direction, you may begin to understand, even see, how connected things are. And I know from our Christian perspectives, we've been told and taught don't, 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 this is evil, this is devilish, this is satanic, this is what? Amen. There's nothing to be afraid of. The whole nature is full of colors. And if we can begin to download some of these ancient historical knowledge systems that are looking at us in the eye, this information, you don't have to go anywhere. Your carrots have a certain color. And your, your, your peas have a certain color. You go to your cabbages, have a certain color. You go to your yams, have a certain color. You go to your tomatoes, have a certain color. So you can actually come up with, a, with an eating chart that is actually linked up to these colors that we're putting on. So when you look at ancient traditions, looking at the pieces of art that our forefathers used to do, it's not just about art. There is science there, there is knowledge there, there's technologies there, there's diet there that has been built into these systems. And with me to help me today navigate this space of uh, health, human health, spiritual health, psychological health, is Baba Usi Pomabaso, who is an indigenous herbalist in his own right, and he will take us through the greater journey. Let's start off. Who is Sipo Mabaso, and where does he come from, and what brings him here to the show? Uh, morning to the viewers. Sipo Mabasa, as Mabonga stated. Sipo Mabasa is an African herbalist. Mm. As I, I say, the king of the bush. Mm. Yeah. Uh, maybe if you can ask me, maybe those who know me, they, maybe they, they are surprised. Mm. How come you uh, have a list mm. from changing from economist, from educator to have a list? How come? Mm. But uh, I, I will cut the story short mm. to say uh, to be a have a list is the calling. The calling. Yeah. How did it start? How do you, where did you start and how did you start? Uh, this thing has started way back uh, before I, 
I joined even the Christian move, Christian movement. Mm. It was there because uh, when I look from the family tree, mm. from uh, my parental side mm. and maternal side, Ukoko, uh, Koko Mantuli mm. was a traditional healer. Okay. Uh, Mama was. Yes. Was a traditional healer. Mm. So this thing has embedded in me. They actually, can I say, they are yes. in me. They are in, they are in you. Yeah, they are in me. You didn't have to learn this. Uh, how did it? How did it happen? You just started seeing visions or seeing dreams and about herbs and stuff. Uh, it started when I I realized like uh, actually I find myself in nature. The loved world. Yeah, like you know, I will go to nature. Mm. Just it turns on me why. Something was attracting yeah, yeah, you why, there. Why? 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 But I was denying it mm. because as. I was taught in a, in, a, in, a, in a Christian movement. Mm, you can't do that. Yeah, because other things, they, they are deemed as evil. Mm. Mm. These are not yours. These are Africans mm. and Africans. But don't you find it funny that we are, these things are called demonic and evil, yet we go to the shops and we buy spices, we buy all those various powders, or ginger, or garlic, or sage, or origanums, and all those spices that are there. Are those not herbs? <laughs> yeah, they are helps, but the, the, the problem maybe is that they, they, they brought to us mm. by whites. Mm. So that's why we buy it. But if only it was black men mm. who sell it, we cannot buy it. Because mm. in our software, mm. anything that a black man is doing mm. is evil. Okay. So the, 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 the software was corrupt at mm. the early age. As to Very early age. Uh, to teach us that the, anything has to do with Africa is mm. evil. Mm. Because even, uh, I will give you an example. <clears throat> Let me maybe tell, uh, speak from a Christian space. Mm. Uh, many people, they think they are demon possessed. Mm. But uh, in reality, they are not demon possessed. It's an issue of health. Mm. But they, they use a prayer for everything. Instead of using herbs, corrective they, herbs and... Because they fear an African science. Mm. But when you look all all tradition, India, China, everywhere, mm. Africa is the mother of wow. all spirituality. Mm. All as you have uh, mentioned, uh, chakra chunks, okay. all the healings, all the chromotherapy of mm. color, everything. Mm. When you look uh, 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 at the depth of, of African, mm. you'll find everything. Like I say, I look at uh, your <coughs> your head. Mm. Remind me of I mean the belly, by the way. Mm. Masako, fula, 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 masako. Mm. Yeah. So when I look at this thing, I see there are many things that is happening on the, on, 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 on the head. Mm. There's the art, the science, mm. everything, the color, everything. But if only we ignore the art mm. and focus on, no, just pray. Mm. Take Jesus as your personal savior. Mm. But uh, we study science. Mm. We, we study their education. Because re religion on its own, religion on its own, will constantly be telling people to, to, to pray. But I think that some of the prayers are useless prayers. Mm -hmm. Because they, what do I say? They are useless. Because you, you, don't, you don't break health principles. Mm. And then you trust that you're going to pray. Hey. You, you don't, you, like to make money, it's not just about prayer. You need some economic understanding of how to do business. When you are sick, it's not about prayer. What principles have you broken if you, hey. you, you, so that you can have a stomach problem? You, 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 you ate something, you drank something, you have depression, you have tension, your stomach, your gastric juices are not balancing. There's, there's a health principle that you have broken. And to fix that health principle is actually far much faster than to go in, in front of a church and give an offering that you, the pastor must pray for you. And you go back home and still eat lots of pig with lots of fat. Hey. And you hope that you won't have high blood pressure. Uh, how does prayer, how does prayer substitute. substitute health principles? So even when you study through the Bible, many people might not understand this. But let's assist them where it gives you what to eat and what not to eat. Which animals to eat and which animals not to eat. And, et and people break those rules. They go for foods 
that have high toxins in, in protein, high toxins in, from the sea, for example, the lobsters, the oil stars, the hoovers of the sea that collect lots of toxins that are at the bottom of the sea. And people enjoy these things. Yes, they are very tasty. Mm. But when they get into, get into the system, what is it that they do to the system? Now, a few days later, too much alcohol, for example, a man has got gout. Now he wants to pray, but does not want to stop uh, the problem where it is starting from. And I think what you're saying is very fundamental in the line that how do people break physical Please. health principles and then they use spiritual prayers yes. to correct yes. that which they should have. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, and on that, uh, as we, 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 we will go further, I mean, we need to start at the lower level. Mm. Basics. Check us through. Check the, us through. The identity. Identity. Who you are. Mm. For me to be who I, who I am, mm. I didn't choose. Mm. I didn't choose to be an African. I didn't have a choice. Mm. It just happened. Woke up in the morning and there you are. And uh, someone will ask you, when you say Africa culture, what are you saying? African culture is a link with nature. Mm. You cannot separate. It's natural. It's natural. You cannot separate African with nature. Mm. Our culture is nature. Everything that we do. That's our church. That's our hospital. That's our religion. My church is a forest. Mm. It's where I worship. It's where I meet the giants. Mm. It's where I meet the, the mother earth. Mm. So first thing we have to understand, mm. so, land, soil. First principle, the mm. identity. Mm. Where do you come from? That is your first identity. First. And first then, those who don't have land, they don't have an identity. You're saying something very important. Without land, you don't have identity. You don't have identity. Who are you? Kelly Makishini, as a as as a, as a, as a, as a rose bank. Yes. So if only we 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 we, we So it starts off with. Uh, the land. The land. And we have touched a, touched an important point when you are talking about the elements. Mm. The, the four elements, water, fire. Soil. Soil. And the wind. They are all in you. All the colors. Mm. So maybe is, is it correct, therefore, to say for a person to have a good, healthy life, health must be looked at in the four elements. Yeah. You need to be healthy in what you are breathing. Yeah. You need to be healthy in what you are drinking. drinking. You need to be healthy in what you are thinking. You must be healthy in what you are eating. So that you, you, you actually are able to move and migrate between the four elements and balance them off to have a healthy life. Yes, and this, it, 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 it take us back to the four kingdoms. Mm. The kingdom of minerals. Mm -hmm. The kingdoms of animals. Mm. The kingdoms of plants. Mm. The common kingdoms of Tina mm. Abandu, like we as people, mm. like someone say, Rumi, mm. say, God sleep in the minerals mm. and dream in the plants mm. and stay in the animals mm. and wake up in the man. Come on, say that again. You God say, sleeps, sleeps in the minerals. In the minerals, in these ions here. Yes. Yeah. This minerals. And, and he dreams. And he dreams. In the herbs. In the herbs. And stay. Mm. In animals. And he wake up. In the, in the human being. So basically you have the function of God within all oh. the four kingdoms. Yes. Those who say, we Africans, mm. we don't know God. I disagree. Mm. Before the Western come, mm. we knew him. Yes, in we even we have yeah. names for him. Yeah. In him we live mm. and we have our being. Mm. So as I, I'm trying to explain, as the kingdoms of minerals, minerals, plants, animals. Mm. Animals, they eat grass mm. to get minerals. Mm. They eat the minerals from the grass. Yeah. Mm. And uh, we eat animals mm. to get the minerals mm. from, from the, the animals that found it from the grass. Yes. And the grass found it in, in the, the soil. soil. Mm. Mm. In the so it's a second. The circle and the soils with the water. Yes. So it's your whole big circle that circulates life. Life, yes. Wow. Uh, I will take you through nature again. Mm. Yeah. God, Yahweh, whatever, created the lakes, mm. rivers, 
Christ. Mm. So that man can find his own soul. In mountains. Mm. So a man can find his own soul. But we have found it ourselves in the cities, mm. like a political side. Mm. We have moved from mm. nature and go to the cities mm. and enjoy the resources of the same nature. Mm. Which are now, not, some of them are no longer as healthy. Some of them are no longer as good. The yeah. air is very polluted. Yeah. The water is polluted, yeah. too many chemicals, and you end up eating the food that is also so. toxic, and which is actually resulting in many diseases and many other problems that the present African child must start dealing with. Yes, we seek. Our sickness mm. is their profit. Okay. <coughs> they, they take us from nature. Mm and move us in the township. Mm. That is a psych psychological warfare. Mm. They put us in a group mm. so that they can give us food. Mm. Not real food. Plastic food. Water. Mm. They deal with the mind. mind. Mm. Mm. So part of us being in the, in the township it was not an improvement, mm. but it was, it was a death. Mm. But we never see like that way mm. because they promise us an illusion of success. Mm. But with that, with that success comes lots of diseases yes. and uh, lots, of, lots of other problems. I want us to move very fast, uh, Mabaso. I want us to go through the various uh, parts of the human body and the natural herbs that you can maybe identify, agricultural herbs and foods that we are eating regularly, so that people who are listening can actually begin to plant, instead of planting grass in their houses. I think that we should start encouraging, because from the kitchens and from the kitchens we are staying in and the locations we are staying in, you find that uh, the small little piece of grass, land that you have to make the house look beautiful, we plant grass. But no one eats grass. So maybe when you begin to advise those that are in the cities in terms of developing health consciousness, the question is what sort of herbs should we be planting in our homesteads? And I would like you maybe, I don't know, if you can move from the top going down, basic foods that attend to the mind, basic foods that attend to the eyes, the ears, the nose, the tracheas come to the chest, to the you know, lungs and heart, to the stomach to the reproduction system and basically maybe we can move from there and then from there you can take us through the various uh, candles and the various uh, uh, lights that you, you you brought for us yeah i think uh, the full lecture please take your time and just run run down as much as you can remember uh, i think uh, in terms of uh, how 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 we deal with herbs and the vegetables mm. and even candles mm. is all about color mm. so i will address the the trunks the chakras, yeah. yeah. Mm. Chakras, mm. Uh, it started mm. at the top, mm. which is purple color, mm. crown above the head. Mm. It's a, is a, is a, is a, is a purple, mm. and uh, come here, mm. is a third eye, mm. pineal gland. The pineal gland, yes. Yeah, mm. yeah. and uh, when it come here, the throat, mm. the, the thorax, mm. and. The stomach? Yeah, the, mm. the solar pelex. Mm. And here is a sacred. Mm. And here is a root. Mm. All these things, they have colors. Mm. So as I stated, the first one is a crown, mm. which is purple. Mm. And the, 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 the third eye, mm. the, the third eye. So that's, that's, I mean, maybe we can, we can be killing it while we are moving, actually. And, uh, yeah, but here there's no purple, but our, yes, our, 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 the, the crown, really the first is a, is a first is one is a, is a purple, purple one. And uh, mm. in Dingo. Yeah. Is a, is a, is a, is a, the third, the third eye. Okay. Yeah. What type of foods does one eat to activate that? What type of herbs? Uh, you know, you don't have to go to school mm. to study. Nature has answers. Mm -hmm. You go around and you look. There's an eggplant that they even in the face. So basically the... You, the color of a, a, a eggplant is purple. A purple. So obvious. When you eat it. It open, but let me. Uh, uh, we, 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 let us try this. On the crown, mm. people, we have a spiritual soul and physical. Mm. There are herbs that are healing souls. Mm. 
the herbs that are healing physical mm, and that helps be spiritual. Mm. Yeah. So we have to know where 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 do we we do we we we, we put mm. the right one. Mm. Yes. So basically, you walk around nature. The first color you must be watching for for the top side are all the purple purple fruits and Swear purple vegetables. Tips. So look around. You don't need you don't need to go to school. No. All you need is um, all the colors in your hand. And then you walk in through nature. So even some of the herbs that you would find right. in nature, they are already given in color. Herbs, lavender. The, yeah, lavender, purple. You use it. You burn it, mm. you drink it, mm. depend. Mm. Is spiritual or is it physical? Okay. But you direct it where you want it to, where you want it to function. So basically, guys, listen very carefully here. This is simple information, but very important. Nature is colored. Nature is colorful. Nature is a rainbow. As we said at the beginning, then if you are walking through nature, you would find those colors already in the roots that you're looking for, in the fruits that you're looking for, in the barks of the tree that you're looking for, in some certain cases, even in the leaves. In the leaves that you're looking for, they are already given in the color, already telling you also where and how do they function. And in some of these plants that you find in nature, by the way, nature is beautiful. And the more I start learning and studying, I discover how little I know. Are you aware that even fruits and vegetables and seeds and plants are designed with the shape yeah. of the, the organ the yeah. of the body where they, where they heal? Some of them even call them kidney beans. You know, nuts for brains. Nuts for brains. Mm -hmm. And you look at the way the, the pineapples are designed, right. you look at the way bananas are designed, you look at the way uh, pears are designed, right. you look at the way cabbages are designed, and you look at all these plants and each one of them. Avocado. Avocado. In for, in for womb. And the womb. It looks actually, avocado looks like a, a uterus. It looks like a uterus and the seed inside. And it's there. It's hidden, but it's in broad, it's in broad daylight. People look for, look for complicated things when the simple things actually are looking at us in the eyes. So that nature is actually designed with elements of the human body. With elements of, even the cancer herbs, for example. You look at the herbs that deal with cancer, they are almost designed in, in the... For some of you are scientists, if you can take some of these herbs and put them in the microscope and look at their combination, you'll be shocked to find that the viruses that are in the body, they actually look exactly like the plant that heals the virus. And they on, went on, on, the, on, the, on the, the second one. Yeah, the second one? Indigo, mm. uh, the third eye, to which uh, they try to, to destroy it. Mm. Yeah. That's why you, you find the water that we, we, we drink. Mm. It has a fluoride. Fluoride. Yes. And the Colgate? Mm. The same. Fluoride. So, uh, the, the, the water close a spiritual vision so that you cannot see. That's what fluoride does. So uh, <clears throat> uh, on, on a spiritual, we say uh, the, the, the crown presents the wisdom mm. and understanding. Mm. Mm. And the, the eye. Vision. Vision. If you want to see visions. This is insight. This is now sight. So the herb that can you can use for, for, for your third eye, mm. you can use rosemary. Rosemary. And you can burn it mm. as a sage or mm. in paper. Mm. For the spiritual purposes, yes. mm -hmm. and uh, when we come here, the throat mm. is a speech mm. and a communication. Mm. Yes. So it's where you burn sage. You have maybe eight kind of sage. Depend eight. on you, and they, they all have different colors. Mm. You can direct it whenever you want. But we have. I'm eight. hearing you say, saying something constant. You can direct it. So herbs are not just supposed to be used. Mm -hmm. Herbs must be spoken to. And 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 by the way, it's not just speaking to them when you are using them. Sometimes it's even important to speak to them before you harvest them. Before you even harvest them. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are touching a very sensitive part to which others, they say we worship nature. Mm. No, we are not worshiping nature. We are referencing Mother Nature. We communicate with it. Yes. But, uh, uh, you have to ask permission. Mm. When you enter the bush, don't mm. just enter. You enter there with reference because other beings are listening to you. Mm. They see you. When you go to the river and take stone, you must ask the spirit in the river. Mm. I want to use this thing. Mm. When you go to the mountain and climb the mountain, mm. you have to go and ask a permission. Mm. 
When you go to the bush, ask. That's why nge strong abare ya tshela. Mm. Utshela yezulu i kutshala. Yeah, So kutshela. Kutshera. Nisho nisho na izikutshera digging. Digging. Mm. When we we dig we talk. Mm. You got to just dig we talk with the mother nature. She is a provider. Mm. And she will give you. And you just you must preserve you don't take and just take, take. And go. You must also take and replant. Yeah. In some certain cases, some of these herbs, for example, you find that the herb has got a legume at the bottom and it grows from here. So instead of you taking everything and you only want to use this one at the bottom, you must learn now how to cut it nicely and then the piece that remains, put it back in the ground and then take only what you're going to use. So that come next season again, you find that the plant has grown again to give you another plant. Even tree. You don't mm. cut the whole tree. Mm. You cut what you want. And leave the rest. And so we... Uh, the, On the throat. The, the throat. The, the, the communication. The, mm. the communication. The thorax. So, yeah. Mm. yeah. It's where you, you use sage. Mm. As I said, it's sage. And, yeah, you use sage. And if only you look, you look... What color for the throat there? It's blue. Blue. Yeah. There you have a blue there. Yeah, we have a blue. Mm. A blue, mm. blue color. Mm. But only vegetable. Mm. We have uh, <clears throat> blueberries. Mm. They are there, but they, because of the... the, the mm. <laughs> they took the seed and hide them. Mm. Now it's very difficult to find blue colors. Mm. Only the red berries yes, and... Uh, yes. yeah. All, 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 any fruit has mm. seven colors, if you don't know. Mm. Most of us, we don't know. All, or if you see a apple, mm. apple has a seven colors. Mm. Banana, mm. all of them, but because of the yeah, because some of them when you open, you find that inside there are various colors. Yes. That even like you cut a peach, you find that outside yeah, it's yellow, yellow, it has an indigo, it has some bit of red in it, and some velvet, and a bit of white in it. So actually, fruits then begin to work to say they they they, they, they when you eat them, they work on various levels. Some of the the blue go to the blue, the yellow go to the yellow, and the white goes to the white. Yes, yes. So oh, on the on the on the fourth, mm. uh, is a heart. Mm. It's a green. Green represent nature. all nature. nature, vegetables, nature, mm. uh, broncoli, yeah. kale, mm -hmm. spinach, mm. rojo, rojo, mm. and all uh, greens. You know, you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, green herbs. Mm. Yeah. You just put it there mm. on the heart. Mm. It's green, uh, and uh, it's for heart. Is for Love, mm. empathy, empathy. Yeah. Hold it right there. When you come back after the break, Ndate uh, Sipomabaso here is taking us through the various colors and how we must eat and look after these organs that are found in the various parts of the body. And remember, while you are feeding one one part of your of your growth, your spiritual growth, you're also looking after the various organs that are actually positioned within that same space also. So we will be back after the break as he's taking us through the seven candles, uh, representing also the seven colors, the seven chakras, and how we can convert our, actually our eating into hobbies. So even our children, young children, you need to teach them these things so that they know when they eat this, it does this to them and it assists them with this. And we've just learned something very important. I think we need to send a message to Colgate and tell them that some of this fluoride they're putting in our toothpaste is not healthy. We need to start using organic toothpaste for fluoride. As I'm hearing here, it's got a problem with our minds. We'll be back right after the break. Make massive moves. Isn't that your uh, daughter's bib? But the truth is, I feel like Arabella's always with me. Don't you ever forget this man's face. He killed your brother. Make messy moves with Star's Head. I want you to eat healthy food because it's delicious. Make messy moves. Would you like another one? I love it. I love this soup. This is amazing. The grits are so creamy. Oh, I take pride in my grits. No, so flavorful. I think that looks wonderful. Yeah. It's so incredible. Make messy moves with Star's Head.
make massive moves. The Bible is human and divine. It's important for us to remember. And I'm part of God's story. Yeah, my, 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 my. God is sealing you. God says what he means, and he means what he says. God is good. I am very grateful to God. I am healed. Amen. Make massive moves with Starside. on this beautiful Sunday with wherever you are on the face of Africa. You could be in Ghana, you could be in Accra, you could be in, uh, down in Zambia, in Zanzibar, in Swaziland, Lesotho, Angola, you know, Bujumbura, in Gambia. Thank you very much for giving us access into your homes, on your phones, whether you're watching us on your TVs at home there. We're happy and we're very grateful that you've given us an opportunity to spend some time with you. And with me in studio today is Babu Mabaso Sipo Mabaso, who is a, a herbalist and uh, he's taking us through the colors of diet, the colors of diet, and how we can actually begin to learn how to eat properly using colors. And not only that, also the colors of herbs, that all the herbs that we find on the face of the earth. They have color and with those colors they synchronize with our bodies so some of us who have now started learning consolidate your information consolidate your information so even when you read the, particularly my heart goes out for christians because you are the they are the most indoctrinated amongst all of them there are colors even when you get to the altar when you get to the building of the sanctuary it was supposed to be built in various colors what do those colors represent and when you look into those colors and look into the dietary system and the spiritual connection of those colors you wake up in the morning for example it's not just about dressing there is something that says when you dress this put on this you feel nice in this and etc but we do these things so so in, in a form of a stupor that even when we do it we're not aware that there is spiritual conversation between what you desire for the day and what you're going to be looking like for the day. And he has just taken us through the purple color, he's taken us through the, the, the indigo, etc. He's taken us through the thorax. And I think just before we went for the break, you were taking us through the greens, yeah, yeah. the green vegetation, the heart, the empathy, the passion, and the healthy heart. Yeah, the nature, mm. the love. Yeah, as and as we, we, we continue, we will look for yellow mm. solar uh, when you look yellow it's for knowledge mm. power mm. mental strength mm. it's yellow the color yellow mm. Mm. as we have stated when you wake up in the morning choose the color what influence you to move in that direction yeah. because uh, color provoke emotions mm. Mm. so uh, as a, 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 a uh, we we <coughs> we touching on the the solar. Mm. Uh, for the solar, you need simple herbs: mm. turmeric mm -hmm. and ginger. Mm -hmm. Turmeric and ginger mm -hmm. for, 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 for for herbs. Mm. And then for vegetable, all the yellow vegetables. You can see banana, those are your, your, your pumpkins, mm. uh, lemon, mm. oranges. Mm. Wow. And that's also the picture, that's also the color of the sun. Exactly. So most of these, like when it comes to citrus fruits, that's where vitamin C and D begin to talk to each other, that you can actually get yellow uh, from sunshine. Exactly. Sunshine, some people say 10 to 15, 20 minutes a day of having sunshine on your body is actually as good as if eating an orange, because then the sun is absorbed by your skin, skin. and cause some certain reactions within your body. Mm. Sun causes... Uh color mm. prism mm. when you put a car a, 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 a water mm. on the sun it reflects all those, those colors mm. Mm. and you can you can you can give someone a water to drink mm. and direct the color where there's a sickness mm. Mm. so you can talk to water also is this why pastors uh, pray for water yeah and then and, and they give people water your weights are powerful <laughs> they, this world was created for weights mm. As we, we, if maybe we can go back, perhaps they listen to you. Mm. You direct them. If you talk at you, and you follow the lento in shy, want this thing uh, help to do whatever you want to do. You, you, send you, it. Yeah, you say it. I'm shy over my poor. You show that because mm. of <laughs> weights. We too mad. You talk to them, and mm. they listen to you. Mm. They still obey. 
Your voice is the power of the herbs. Herbs are neutral. They're neutral. You are the one who must determine whether they become positive, positive or, negative. or they become negative. Okay, that's the year. Mm. Taka. Yeah. A witchcraft is a person, it's not herbs. Mm. Wow. That's, that's why when you enter in the bush, mm. the bush is pure. Pure. It's corrupted when you enter. Mm. Because you are the, the one who's corrupted it. Your energy. So umtakati is not the herbs. Mm -mm. Umtakati is a human, human being. being. And what energy he is sending into the herbs. Very important. So when people are drinking water, they must, they must when people are talking drinking water, they must talk to water. You are the healer. When we nyanga. Mm. Nyanga. Heal yourself. When you eat food, you, you must healing. talk to you must talk to a food. Food is a worship. Maybe is this why we pray for the food before we eat it? You direct them. But we've, we've forgotten to direct the food. We just say the prayer. For what we are about to receive, we thank you. you. Instead of saying to this food, food, please, when you go there, go to the heart, go to the lungs, go to the stomach, and work there. Wow. <laughs> Very yeah. interesting. Very interesting. And the, I, I think we covered the, the, the orange. The yellow, yes. The yellow, so yeah. Citrus is and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll come to the secret, mm. the orange. Mm. You know. So you'll find, as you stated, a uh, orange mm. for for fruits. Mm. You can use it, mm. yeah, and for <clears throat> for 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 herbs, mm. you can use uh, cinnamon and cinnamon uh, and vanilla. Mm. Mm. You can use it mm. for, for 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 treating the the the, 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 the secret. Mm. Mm. To which you understand the the secret is uh, sexuality, emotionally. Mm. Mm. Wow. And uh, <clears throat> the last color is red. Mm. The red is a root, the grounding, mm. surviving. Mm. So, oh, bad root. Mm -hmm. oh, the red ones, bear, the red bear, mm -hmm. you can use them. All the red fruits and, and vegetables. Red pepper mm. for, 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 for herbs, mm. you can use it. Wow. So, it connects you. From here. From the roots to the head. It's a second. Maybe mm. if only we can uh, explain what is the word chan mm. chakras. Mm. Chakras, uh, what is the meaning? It's a wheel. The wheel. Cycle of life. Life is second. Mm. From here to the second. Yeah. And maybe we need to also to emphasize that these, uh, these uh, various foods that we're mentioning, as he's rightfully putting it, it's not just like one is, is locked up in one. They are all inter. Connected. connected. They are all interconnected. But sometimes when you find that there's a problem in a particular uh, section of your body, then you want to focus into the particular uh, root or vegetable or fruits or medication that will be looking at that particular place. But in terms of nature, it is all connected one, one to another stuff. because the health of one precipitates itself to another organ. And the one, or when one organ is sick, it tends to send its toxicity to another organ and another organ sends to another organ. By the time you are treating symptoms on that end, sometimes you actually miss what is the root cause of the problem. Then you hear the doctor say, yeah, you are sick, but we can't see. We can't see what is the problem. Because what you are, what you are looking at here are symptoms. And the real problem could be far, wow. far much deeper. And we also need to mention, uh, I learned this the other day, that uh, the concept of stomach ache and headache must be studied carefully mm. because those are not diseases those are warning signals that there is a problem somewhere in the body they, they, we stop please stop trace your steps backwards maybe you didn't drink nicely maybe you didn't eat nicely maybe you didn't sleep nicely maybe you didn't you, you, something you have done wrong here please stop and fix it and people instead of stopping to find what is the root cause of the problem they take aspirin, hey. they take Panadol, and switch off the, the signal. Hey. They want the Panadol to stop the headache. But by stopping the headache, the problem is still now get, becoming more complicated because you don't want to deal with it. By the time the problem blows up, Panadol no longer works. We must now go and cut off your pancreas. We must now go and do a heart thing. We must now go and... Because the, 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 they said stomach problem, headache and stomach ache. It's only a, a warning sign that uh, it's like you are driving your car 
and they have all these lights that on, on the dashboard. Mm -hmm. And when you see the yellow light on your dashboard, on your fuel gauge, you, 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 don't, you, you, you don't break the, 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 the light and you drive. It simply means there's no fuel. <laughs> so stop at the next garage and fuel. And uh, I, I learned that the other day. I thought I would share that. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh, and as, as we, we, we go, we go, we go, there's a, something important about African healing. Mm. Very powerful. All those herbs, I can mention 500 of herbs. Mm. But those herbs, you might use rose, Mary. Mm. You might use lavender, but not working for you. Mm. Why? Because we sometimes different. Maybe you are from the water element. I am from the fire. Mm. Someone is from the air. Mm. As maybe as a, 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 a herbalist, mm. you must know astrology. Mm. You must know the planetary. Mm. What is happening when you diagnose a disease? Mm. You have to diag diagnose it from, from the hand. hand and check. Kuti, this person is fall under which element? Mm. Because it's important to connect the planetary mm. with the other person. Mm. Mm. So it's very important to, 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 to know such things because even uh, the older people, mm. they were using a, a hand for everything. Mm. Time, mm. months, checking in people. Cal calculators, <laughs> use your hands. Mm. It's, it's, it's all in your hands. The best. Mm. And when a child is born, grandmothers would come and, and trace genealogy in the hand to see, is this our child? Right. Or it is from the neighbor, you know. Mm. So it's all written in the hand. And when you look your hand, you will see stars, the fishes, all the signs. You will see here. When the Egyptian write in the on on the walls, there are some signs in your hand mm. that resemble the same signs, sign on the on the on the on the, on the, on the rock. Mm. Mm. So when when we when we when we deal with a uh, healing, uh, that's why. The Western is very difficult mm. to heal some certain diseases mm. because they don't understand the spiritual connection of the that disease. Oh, yeah, what, and I'm listening. I'm listening. It's even important in some cases where an indigenous herbalist must now find out is he born senems ne because in as much as you are also you are mentioning the planetary connection, but our totemic connection will also give you. Is this person from the water? Is this person from the mountains? Is this person from the from the from the bushes? Is this one from the birds? Is, and then within that within that totemic language also, you are able to understand how do you treat a bird, how do you treat a fish, how do you treat a and you cannot treat a bird in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can you can you treat a, a, a lion in, in in the wind? So it's, it's also understanding maybe that our totemic knowledge has information that is in it, which now begins even to speak to our health and how and what sort of herbs we must actually be using to be treating with each other. I'm in tool. Yeah, in tool. Mabas. All of us, we have our herbs. Mm. The Nguna herbs. Yeah. Mm. Masango herbs. Mm. We, 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 we have them. As a family. Yes. There are herbs that family. And, and I think this is one thing that we have lost as, as the modern Africans. We, we, we have lost these family herbs, which are particular yeah. and specific to families. Now what we do through these indigenous healers, you just go to, 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 to my mai, you go to a herbalist, and he just gives you any herb. It does not mean, as he rightfully put it, it doesn't mean that all herbs work for all people. Some herbs will work for you, some herbs will not work for you, but in some certain families where cultures are still intact, then you'll find that there is a particular herb that is specific to, to that family. And every, and I remember my grandmother when we were young, my grandmother used to, every change of season, she would uh, use aloe on us. Mm. She would uh, cut a branch of aloe, put it in some water, and the water turns milk. You know, that are the aloe that makes water milk. Mm -hmm. And then you give you a, a pocket of uh, a palm full of ground nuts this side. And give all of us who stand in a queue, 
and you will be drinking that bitter thing and you cannot take it and drink it away. You must drink it while she's looking at you. Then you drink it, then you take your nuts, but it's used to clean up our system. Like when they're changing from summer, autumn, winter and spring. She actually had a, an aloe tree on the yard mm -hmm. and every change of season would know that there's a ceremony that is coming hey. where we must actually be drinking raw aloe. But this is a particular one. I can't, I've, I've not found it yet. It's a particular. There are some that have uh, slimy stuff. But this one that is at home, if you break it and put it in a, in a glass of water, the water turns into milk. Wow. It turns into white sort of thing. And, mm. and, and that becomes like what kept all of us going. I never put my head in a hospital because grandma used to know how to manage my digestive system every season, every season. Now here we are living in town eating wow. pizza and eating bo, 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 rubbish and look what we have become. And as, as uh, 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 you stated that, um, we have 300 kinds of aloes. 300? Every family can have its own. We have herbs. It's just now people are no longer preserving herbs. Mm. So now we just have few herbs that are around. Mm. So uh, if, uh, I don't want to, to, to touch something. Mm, even the names of herbs mm. are important. Why mm. they call it with that name? Umshabel. Isikanama. Mm. Iskanama. You know Iskanama? Mm. That one red is sort of a, like an a, a onion, mm. a red onion, mm. but it's a wild onion. Mm. They call it Iskanama. Mm. Iskanama means Kukanama Kuwa. Kukanama. Mm. So most of people, they were using it for witchcraft. But mm. Kananis. Mm. And we were using Sikanam. Sikanam. To Kanamisa. Mm. Mm. So, but I, me, when I use it, I use it for cleaning the system. Mm. So it's up to you. Again. Another herb, another name that you might remember quickly? For? Any herb, any herb. I want just to play us on the names, on the names of the herbs and how the name. Kwangolantilo. Mm. Kwangolantilo, that means uh, it's it, 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 it strong. Mm. That means. It, it block the lightning, even it stop the rain. Mm. We use it that uh, during the wedding when uh, you are gathered and the rain is coming mm. and then the old woman will go there and burn it mm. and the cloud will move away. away. So wow. they call it Kwangolanti. Kwangolanti. Yeah. And then there's a herbs that can control the rain. Mm. When the old man was in the bush, mm. when the rain coming uh, powerful, Mm. They will direct the rain to the certain direction, mm. so that they can be safe where they are. Yeah. Wow, we have that we, so, we we have so with nature and the human being mm. can control the elements, yes. the whole cosmos. Interesting, interesting. Uma vulinge, eh? Uma vulaku vali. Umulo mumunandi. Oh, oh. When I was primary, I used to, I used to eat umulo mumunandi. Like you want someone and. Someone gave me that mulo mm. I mm. just eat it. Ah. Mm. Ah, I go to that lady. And you talk and your story can be heard. <laughs> 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 but it was not the herb that was looking. It's, of, it's, it's, it's what you believe <laughs> the herb yeah, must do. So mulo mumu at that time. Wow. So the names are important. Names of the herbs. So and if you listen to the name of the herb, you almost likely be able to understand what is the use of that herb and where it will work best. Even you understand the culture. The culture. So the world of herbs is huge. We can talk the whole day. Mm. Uh, for example, when you... <clears throat> the reason why the herbs are not working, mm. now people are selling herbs. Selling them. Mm. Not just because they want people to be healed. Mm. But bafuni mm. mali. In the... Our, I mean, I have... I've met all people. They never ever. sold medicine. They say, take, and the universe will pay us. Mm. So I have learned one thing. Now, herb is commercial. Like it's commercialized. For herb life. Who own mm. it? Mm. Who's benefiting them? And what are they speaking into these herbs? Or it's just, just for Abantu Bakwone, just people to see you that you are Jimmy. Mm. You're supposed to go to the to the to the to the to the, to the mm. and we gym. 
But now let's move over. Let's move over to something very critical before we leave the sacred space. I know many of our um, young people and young uh, boys and girls and young men out there are struggling with uh, sexual health. Sexual health. Maybe I just want maybe to you to zoom in a little bit into that corner. And uh, we know some people who need to drive around town here. People are doing uh, sex enlargement, uh, <laughs> growing, growing their private parts. And I passed a comment the other day, which was uh, very, very controversial. When I said uh, 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 you don't want to have a, 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 a big penis <laughs> and a small business, you know, it's not, it's not a good combination. You, you, you want to develop your, your mind, enlarge your mind, rather than just enlarging your, 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 sexual, your sexual organ. What are some of the herbs specifically for, for men? Basic health herbs for men, and then we can also look at women. And uh, so that some people can take some things home. It's a free consultation today. Baba uh, Ponga, you know, sometimes we we drink too much herbs. Drink and drink and drink, and uh, you are not getting healed. Why? Before even you can consume herbs, check diet. Mm. What make men not to perform? Mm. All this food that we eat, as we always stated at Farm of Pots. Mm. The land. Mm. The land. Mm. So these two land, they want to destroy it. Mm. The population. Mm. Through food. Through food. So as how, how we eat is very important. May, maybe my advice as a village boy. Mm. Try by all means. I don't know, go to the village, have some smaller house, start to stay there, mm. plant your food. Mm. Plant your own food. Plant your own food. Because mm. if I can give you the advice, you're going to drink this until when? Mm. That is not, it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. The more permanent solution is actually to repair and fix the way we are eating. Life is understood when we go backward. Mm. But most of us, we live in forward without understanding the backward. Mm. So maybe we have to go back and ask mm. the answer there. In and the past. We, yeah, and we'll find the solution. That, that is the only solution that we can do. Mm. African child, not to wake up. Let us find the land. The land, all minerals. Like example, these young men, they are busy sexing, 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 sexing. You are shortening your lifespan because the excessive oil spam that is coming from you, all minerals are coming here and you are not replacing it with anything. Mm. You are becoming nothing. You eat purple, all this chemical, and you always you, you do sex. Mm. And uh, when you do sex, all minerals, all, all of them, 21 uh, uh, excellent minerals are coming free. And you don't replace Into a plastic, it. if you are using a condom, into a plastic, plastic and you throw, throw them away. You throw the whole community. <laughs> the president, all of them. <laughs> and kings. kings. Yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, diet sex. Like, so you are mentioning something that too much sex is not healthy also. It's not healthy. But others are saying you must have sex 21 times a, a, a month for you to be healthy. You know, you know what the, I understand now why they are saying that. Uh, uh, you know why? It is, that is a Western ideology. Mm. As a farmer, mm. you cannot plant the, in the new winter. Mm. Seed, you don't plant seed every day. Mm. There's a season mm. to plant. Mm. So wow. there's a season, you cannot just plant the every, every, everywhere. Mm. We, we go with the galaxy. Season. Seasons. Mm. You, just don't, you don't just eat, you don't just plant herbs. You don't just have sex. Mm. You, must, you must be seasonal. 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 And correctly done. You must stay. Maybe even more than three months, so you'll be strong. Mm. Wow. So this season, we go with the cycle of life. Mm -hmm. Season, autumn, winter, spring. Now, more than women, we even drink tablets to stop their periods. Because they're in a hurry to go for, 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 for sex. Yes. When they're going for Deb in July, then they drink tablets. Nothing can go wrong that weekend. So they even yes. want to cut off and uh, we have men, we have sex with women, we have you know, their periods. And stuff like that, and you wonder, what are we? What have we become? 
what have we become? What is this obsession with, 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 with sex to an extent that it has actually now become a destructive force in, in the hands of men? And, uh, and on, on that, let, let, let's, let's uh, address the, the, the women perhaps. Mm. Uh, as I stated, mm. look nature. Mm. It has all solutions. The, 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 the immortal pitch mm. as the gate of life, mm. as they can call it. The, the, you know, they can call it with all names, the flowers mm. of the universe, the flowers of life. Mm. Look flowers. Mm. Those people who sell herbs for uni, mm. they take flowers. Mm. All, look all the pink flower, rose, mix blend it. it. Mix them all together. Come to you. Sell it, mm. and you do uni steam. Mm. Clean. Oh, that chair where you must women must sit and get their simple herbs, mm. flowers, flowers for women for women's hair. And this one you use them for you steam. You use flowers to steam. Yeah. So plant flowers in your garden and, and uh, all ha kinds. Harvest those flowers, dry them, and then boil them up as a steam or use them when they're fresh. Which one is better? Uh, and I'm mm. All every man mm. must have a chair. In a jar. Mm. That jar, every time when you go to push, mm. make sure that you come up with herbs. Mm. Like, uh, I will give you one. You know, sometimes when we talk about this herb, buzz, buzz, um, but, hey, when I got to niggas, I want the information. Mm. But for, for men out there, mm. take marula. You know marula tree? Marula. Yeah, marula. You want to make marula drink with? Yeah. Yeah. The bark. The bark of marula tree. Yeah, yeah. It's very powerful, even the roots. Uh. And you know, you Marula is all over Southern Africa yeah. here. Yeah. You put it in a uh, in, in, in jar, mm -hmm. and uh, you you can take even there's a tree called Mosaic. Mosaic. Take it. Mm. Put it for a week, mm. and it ferment nicely there. Every day mm. when you get inside the house, mm. bah, and then, just a little bit. Every day when you get inside the house, mm. getting strength. Mm. Every day. Murula tree. And Murula tree is working like an invent. Mm. When they want to determine, you are going to get a boy or a child. They mm. use Murula in the spirit. Mm. You can you can direct the gender of the mm. child through Murula. Through Murula tree. I want a boy. When you come back after the break, we are here with the Untate Sipomabaso taking us through some basic herbs and how as Africans, actually when we walk through the bushes, we're walking through our own hospitals. When you come back after the break, we'll be hearing more from him. man's face. He killed your brother. Make messy moves with stars ahead. I want you to eat healthy food because it's delicious. Make messy moves. Would you like another one? I love it. I love this soup. This is amazing. The grits are so creamy. Oh, ho, ho. I take pride in my grits. No, so flavorful. I think that looks wonderful. Yeah. It's so incredible. Make messy moves with Starside.
Welcome one, welcome all one more time here on your wonderful show here at Sankofa with me in studio Babu Sipo Mabaso in Pretoria, Winterfield, yeah. Winterfield. He's in Winterfield, somewhere up further north from Pretoria where he's uh, practicing indigenous uh, herbalist there. And uh, he's taking us through quite some interesting information here. We've, I've just learned a new herb here, Morula, Morula Bax, uh, Mapfura in Shona, uh, Makanu. Those of you come from Pumalanga in Swaziland, the backs of that tree, you put them in a bucket there, a bit of musetla there, make yourself a nice concoction. Bewitch yourself. Do it yourself. Don't wait until someone tells you you must try and come up with your own aspect of looking after your, your, your health in a critical way. And I think what I love about what Mabaso is saying here, plant some of these things in your own yard and do this for yourself. Do a bit of research, guys. Ignorance in our generation is by choice, to be, mm -hmm. to be frank. If you are still ignorant in 2020, you either must be a big fool or you are totally, you are totally just not interested in learning. But those who want to learn, information is everywhere everywhere and what we're intending to do on shows such as this is not to make it all exhaustive but just to allow that conversation to begin where you also can begin to develop an interest right now you'll be having lunch you're going to be having supper you're going to be drinking you're going to be doing you're already doing these things naturally and you're doing it daily the question is why not do it in a healthy way because a healthy nation will actually give us a healthy future and a healthy mind will give us a healthy body and our conversation of today is actually just looking at the basic forms of good sleep, good water, good rest, good sex, good, uh, good herbs, and just try and be healthy so that we do not expect the pharmaceutical companies to be supervising and looking after our own health. Our sickness, as he rightfully put it, our sickness is their business. And you cannot leave your health in the hands of those who want you to be sick. Wow. We're still talking about Morula, and I cut you short there. And, uh, and for those who might want to, who might feel their organs are small and they want to extend them using natural herbs, what sort of herbs can they be looking at? Hey. <laughs> oh, uh. to enlarge the... the yeah, the just land. a little bit, maybe to, to enlarge it a little bit, yeah. Ah. Hmm. They must go to the bush. They must go to the bush. The answer is there. The answer is there. Yeah, the you'll go there. You'll see your shape. You see the shape in the bush. Oh, of your your manhood. So there are plants in the bush that are shaped like uh, the male organ, and those herbs actually. You grade them. You grade them. Make powder. Make powder. You drink. You drink your powder. I remember, there's one tree that grows next to the river, that grows. Uh, the willow. Not willows. It's, a, it's hard. It's almost like the sponge for bathing, but it's big and long. Yeah. Th that they call it sausage. The, yes, they call it the, the monkey sausage or something yeah. like that. And uh, powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Yeah, powerful stuff. I know okay, you're not saying too much, but I can, I can I, hear I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> But, but I, li I like what he said at the beginning. He says, if you have a problem, before you run to the doctors, just go to the bush. bush. This is the answer. You will find what you are looking for is waiting for you in the bush. And when you see it, you, you will know this is the solution. And it, it's free. It's for free yeah. when you do it yourself. Wow. Lazar does not wake up. Unzi. Lazar. Unzi. Our diet. Our diet. Is the problem. Us. So he has given us a bit of some few tips for the ladies in terms of uh, making your knee baths and your knee steamers and he's recommending issues of uh, basically the flowers the flowers that are and if you look at all flowers they are almost shaped uh, like like the female genital and uh, they would work in that direction and please take note we are not recommending that you must be ingesting and taking some of these things without a proper consultation but uh, as for some of this stuff that we're talking about which is for external use and uh, the herbs that are there yeah, please try and get some help also try and get a technical person but uh, some of this stuff i mean I, I i was just teasing you i grew up in the farms myself mm. and uh, we grew up heading cattle and uh, there are things we used to do in the bush for our health 
which here I am today and I'm not dead. No. You know, in some certain cases, would even be told to climb a tree and insert your thing on a on, on the monkey tree. sausage there and leave it there. The young one, as it grows, yours also grows on the other side. You know, but again, uh, as you rightfully put it, you speak to these things. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, you and some. I think some of our friends forgot to go and remove. And, you... and, and cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> because we, suppose when it reaches the size that you want, right. then you must go and, and, and cut off the, 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 the no, cut off the, the fruit. The food, yes. So I think some of our friends went to town right. and they forgot about it. And let, uh, next time they woke up and uh, there are things that outgrown their expectations. So far, I crevanini in That's quite interesting. So, yeah, but. Take note, the bush has the solutions. There's a time in our African history where our forests, where our pharmaceuticals, where our, where our, chemistries, our chemists, where the bush itself contained everything. And again, I, I'll share one secret which my grandmother shared with me. In as much as the, the marula tree, the barks of the marula tree, work for, for the men, in terms of enhancing their yeah. their, and their, their sexuality, cleaning, yeah. but in cleaning up their stomach, yeah. the same marula tree again. My grandmother used to cut off the barks of the marula tree, and then soak them in water. When our women had finished delivering children, then they would sit in these cold dishes of water, and it would actually help to shrink hmm. and restore the birth canal hey. and draining all the unnecessary substances that had been trapped in the stomach. So the woman would actually sit there for an hour, two hours, every day after delivery. And then it would actually a support to, to, to disinfect and actually restore the birth canal. Ah. My grandmother used to do that. You know, you, know you, you, you are opening this topic. I'm just, I'm just thinking about things. Uh -huh. You know, our, 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 we are addressing the, the kingdom of plants, mm. kingdoms of animals. Mm. We use animal for healing. Mm. Lion fat. Mm. Munto if ukuma o umongo. Mm. Use uh, elephant dung. Elephant dung. Because an elephant eats everything, everything. On, the, on, the, on the trees. And the dung actually is a, is a, is a hospital. It is, it's a harvesting space for the entire uh, you know, botany within the bush. You may not find some of those plants yourself if you should go and look for them. But the, 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 the elephant has eaten them and you take mm. the, the dung of an elephant, you put it on a small little saucer, you put a coal of fire there, and then when you're having nose bleed, traditionally speaking, you'd actually then look there and then sm smoke that. Others also use porcupine. Porcupine uh, thing, you burn it also to try and help and stop. Uh, uh, nose bleed. We we can see much. Africa mm. is rich. It's rich. It's rich. Mm. Like if only like example, when they, you have cows mm. and you want them to multiply, mm. you go there in the bush mm. and you take a, a snake, mm. cobra, mm. and you put it in the crowd. You put it there. A dead one. Yeah. yeah. And then like, the cow they'll suck it. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. The bull. Yeah. My Zoshaya. The spam is rich. Mm. Because that, that, that snake it has a salt. A salt, is it? Yeah. Mm. So there you go. Yeah. So this, this is not just about healing our bodies. Oh, now we're beginning to move into animal husbandry. And, and uh, we, we even, aloe, for example, is good for chickens. And so you, you take the, the aloe leaf and, and put it in water. And then let your chickens drink. You would actually clean up those chickens of the worms and make them healthy from influenza, all these things that chicken, chickens are, fire, are actually suffering from. So it's not just healing, because it's one thing for you to heal your body and you're eating sick food. You are eating sick chickens. Hey. So you, you also need to learn when you are healing yourself. It may be, if it is not important, that in the midst of you healing yourself, you also want to make sure that your cattle, your sheep, sheep. your goats, and your chickens, including even your your plants in the in the field, that they are they are actually healthy. And you you know now I, I plant spinach. Mm. It got sick sometimes, mm. and we have to have a solution. Mm. 
for it. Even these plants, they get sick. They get sick also. Hey, they are living. Mm, they are living. Be, there's a life. Mm. I remember my grandmother also used to put ash and, uh, from the fireplace, ash in some of the plants there in the garden. But lots, lots, we, lots we can share. Another secret again I should share with you, which is very interesting. This is for animal husbandry, which my grandfather, this time is my grandfather who used to do it. When uh, animals are sick and they have wounds, or they have, uh, you know, they are cut and they have some, or too many ticks or whatever, and the thing becomes a, a septic. Then he will go into my grandmother's kitchen and then put a big cloth on the floor, then heat the roof mm. of the kitchen. He collects all the, 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 the smoke and the tar from the fireplace that is holding on to the thatched roof mm. and it falls onto the ground. Oh. Then he grinds it into powder and mixes it with a bit of salt and then goes to the animal that is a wound, clean up the wound with warm water, with hot water, and take that powder and put it. And within days, that wound will heal up and be healed. Or after we have, circum we have um, we castrated our, our bulls. Remember, we did not have the machines for castrating. This is another funny story, but I can share it. What can you do to me? My grandfather and I would get, take us to the crawl. We tie up the, the, young, the young steers, and he would take his knife, very sharp knife. Mm. He would literally operate the bull himself, the young bulls, and remove the, 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 the testicles of the bull. But for it to heal, then you take that powder again and put it in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the scrotum, mm. then tie it up. And then four, five, six days later, the, that animal is healed. And, but of course, we would roast we would roast the the uh, the, the, the the testicles. We, we, would, we would roast them and 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 and, and have some That's nice breakfast, breakfast. Yeah, in, yeah. In, in the bush there. But we grew up like that. They, yeah. this, and that, this, I'm not embarrassed. Yes, I used to I used to roast that stuff and we would be eating it. Yeah. Mm. As yeah. you say, it, like yeah, now I'm thinking, how can you hide a pregnant with a, a hand? Mm. Can you, you hide? You can't. In such mm. a time like this, mm. an awakening, mm. when Africa, we are now beginning to go back. Mm. How can you sleep? Mm. So now I'm just, I'm, I'm just thinking about, uh, as we have touched, there is uh, too much information here. Mm. Candles. Why are you burn red candles? Why are mm. you burn? What is happening in you? Mm. In the spirit. Mm. When you want money, you can mm. burn. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that maybe we don't realize, Baba Mapong, this food that we are eating mm. has beclouded mm. our eyes. There are colors even now, mm. but we don't see it. Mm. Only we see one percent, and ninety-nine percent. What is happening in the spiritual realm? We mm. don't see it. Mm. Only birds and bees they can see the ultraviolet. Mm. They can see the color, the rainbow. They can see it in the spirit, mm. but we cannot see it mm. because they have put us in the city mm. so that they can control the mind, the kingdom. As we, 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 can, we can close it, mm. the kingdom is here. Mm. The crown is fallen. Wow. So we need to put it again. Mm. I understand. Mm. I see. Mm. I, speak. I speak. I feel. Mm. I do. Mm. I reproduce. I am. Mm. The ground mm. is the road. Mm. So this is the whole circle, the mm. law of creation. Mm. So maybe it's time now for Africa to wake up from the slumber. Mm. We have been eating crumbs from the West. And we have been talking. It's time for us to do. To do. We must start doing now. We, we have been crying. Now we have to go back because the generation that is coming, mm. if this generation mm. cannot do the right thing, mm. we are lost as a nation. Wow. So now it's a time to go back. We had our bush before they come here. Mm. We were not sick. We had our medicine. Mm. We had everything. 
our banks, cows, mm. we had everything. Mm. There was no divorce. There was no unemployment. Unemployment, if we don't find it in our African language, what is unemployment in our, in our, in our language? Mm. We don't have, we didn't have a poverty is a man-made. Poverty is man-made. So they try to control us. And there's two drugs that they use against us. Mm. A coffee for five days. Mm. They use it for us. You say what sevens are you wait their coffee. You're waiting for them. Weekend, two days they use alcohol. Mm. Coffee and sugar. And alcohol. And alcohol. Are two drugs that are using against an African child. And then we think we have made it in life. Mm. In the morning, we don't know what kind of... Uh, too much caffeine is affecting our mental. Mm. Mm. So in, in now it's time to come back and go back to the land. Mm. Back to the land. Back to the land. You don't own the land. Mm. The land owns you. Mm. Mm. There's no ownership. So we are the stewards. We pass land generation to generation. Mm. Because we come from the road. We come from it, and we eat from it. it. And when we are buried, we are buried, buried back into it again. Land is what we are. I'm made from the mountain. My bones are made from mountain. Mm. I am a spare, my God. Wow. What an afternoon, what an afternoon, what a morning. Beautiful, beautiful opportunity that we have had here to spend with Ubabu Mabaso. And since he has been here, since he has been here on my show, and uh, I, I'm thinking he's, he's not getting younger, he's getting a little bit older. And uh, I will want to uh, give him this uh, piece of stick and uh, with a small little introduction. But he's a student on the Farmers of Thought, so I don't need to struggle to introduce you to the elements that are here from the Western medicines to the European medicines to the Chinese medicines and the African medicines. So the four pillars here for you as a herbalist will then begin to teach you and how do you do your healing? And from which angle are you applying your healing? And what was it like in the past in Africa? What was it like in the past in China? What was it like in the past in Europe? What was it like in the past for... What is it like in the present for Africa? What is it in the present for the Chinese? What is in the present for the Northerners? And what is in the present for the Southerners? And ultimately, what is in the future for African medicine? What is the future of Chinese medicine? What is the future of European medicine? Mm. What is the future of... And when we are thinking as Africans, are we saying what the West has discovered will work for us? We hear now that the Western world has come up with a vaccine. They've come up with a vaccine. Mm. And because they found a vaccine here, the vaccine found here must work for the Europeans, must work for the Chinese, and must work for the Africans. But are we saying as Africans that our solutions to our health are found in the Western world or... Since we are the mother, mm. we also need to start looking at our own solutions mm. and say, how do we use our solutions to assist the rest of the world? So for me, this is a thinking tool, mm. which you'll be using. And I know later on when you'll be getting old, drawing on the ground and mm. teaching the children, I hope that when you hold the stick, it will remind you of the entire library of knowledge of what you must have. You can also convert it into physical education, you know, mental education emotional education, and spiritual education. You can also move into the four worlds, the soil, mm. the water, the wind, and the fire, and etc. But you can sit around in it on, under a tree by yourself and process, process uh, huge amounts of information. So that even when you pick up a herb, and you pick up a herb and say, okay, I found a herb here, umsekla, mm. okay? This is Msekla here in Africa. What is Msekla in Chinese? What is Msekla in, uh, in, in, in Europe? What is Msekla in, And how does it work here? How does it work here? What are the balances of this thing? And, and, and so for me, it's not just about carrying a stick, but it's actually having for yourself a small little piece of tool that you can use for processing ideas. So you want to get married. How are they marrying in the past? How are they marrying in the present? How are they marrying in the future? You can use it as a religious conversation, theological conversation, fashion conversation. But since you're in the pharmaceutical space and in the health space, I thought I would uh, present a gift for you here from Farmers of Thought. And uh, you know, 
We hope it will make sense. Your final remarks and commentary for the African children far and wide. What do you want to tell them and what they must they do with their lives in this 21st century, particularly in the line of the coronavirus? I thought I'd keep that question last so that at least we can have some solutions also for our nation that has been infected and infested uh, by the coronavirus and COVID-19. What are some of the law hanging fruits, quick solutions that people must be doing to protect themselves during this time of COVID-19? My advice to, to people is that uh, let them go back to the uh, good diet. If coronavirus, like for me, there's no help in Africa that cannot heal any disease. Mm. Any help can heal a natural disease. Mm. Natural but disease. disease. But if a yes. disease is not natural. Yes. I hear you. If it is a chemical uh, disease or a synthetic a disease, disease. Become a problem. Becomes a problem. Yeah. So uh, mm, that's fundamental. Uh, if so it is natural. Okay. If COVID nineteen is natural is a natural disease, there should be natural <laughs> help. But if yeah. COVID nineteen is a laboratory disease, then we need a laboratory solution. So you need vaccine if it's not natural disease. Wow, you just said something very powerful. I never thought of it like that. So for my advice. Natural to natural, plastic to plastic. Organic to organic. You cannot heal in organic with organic. Hmm. So now the advice, go to the bush, mm. ask, uh, you can find me on Facebook. Mm. I can direct, I can. Yes, uh, where would people find you? Facebook, you are running what under name, which name? Sipo Chivingo. Sipo Chivingo. Sipola, Sipola Chivingo. Sipola Chivingo. Yeah. That's his name that he's using. Yeah, but they, they will find me on Farm of Thought. Uh, Farm of Thought, yeah, healing the, healing, the healing center. Yeah, it's where always I post there. Yeah, yeah. that is on, fa on, on uh, WhatsApp. <coughs> I know, in Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, Farmers of Thought, is a page we open called Farmers of Thought Healing Center. He is, he is, he is, av he is available on that page. He, and I think also there's another page they opened up on Telegram, which is also doing healing healing centers. Please just try and look Farmers of Thought. You, I think about three or four pages come up there. The ones that is dealing with healing, you'll be able to find Sipo there. Please feel free to get in touch with him and uh, you want some other extra information. But above just you trying to find herbs from him, we also want to challenge young people there who want to learn. He's not a, he's not a Sangoma. He is a herbalist. He's a herbalist. He has knowledge of the bush and the herbs that are lying on the ground and how best we can actually use that to supplement our health. And uh, we never touch the... Let us close it quickly. Mm. Uh, you ask me, how do I know about herbs? Mm. Herbs, they come in dream. They come in dreams. Yeah, dreams. And when you are sleeping, in, in a dream come, go to take. Go to take that. It will work on this. And, someone will and immediately when you have taken that, someone comes up. And then you know, you already dreamt this is connected to that. It can't get better than that. Your host on this show is Maponga J.G. Garampo Garamashamba Huda Chirera Nawana Wewanji. Makumbe Mwana Mwisindiwe Shanu Mwana Mshamba Negori. Wana Chiki Garampo Kwe Matanda Nawara. Chibuwe Chite Nza. Chinote Zira Wari Kuri Wari Pedi Wano Tambana Jom Tamburi Paru Wari. Tisu Wana Chiramba Kusesera. Wana Pimbera Nama Chirama Chena. Wida Miti Ya Sose Chiwere. Mukanya Vuzijena Sose. Until we see you again on your wonderful show. Don't do what I wouldn't do. But if you decide to do it, do it better. Thank you, Zip, for coming to have an afternoon with us here. Yeah, bongaba.